Mr. Biden, can anything undo the loss of the plus 724 children who have perished? U.S. President Joe Biden's recent comments regarding the Gaza conflict have ignited intense debate and strong reactions. His statement, which emphasized that Israeli occupation of Gaza would be a big mistake while expressing support for Israeli operations against Hamas, has elicited widespread criticism. Many critics argue that Biden's remarks do not adequately address the complex and long-standing issues underlying the war. They contend that such a stance may not contribute to a sustainable, long-term solution that can bring peace and stability to the region. Biden's statement has come at a time when there are reports of Israel's preparations for significant ground operations in Gaza. This has garnered significant attention and concern from the international community. The recent escalation of the conflict has resulted in a substantial loss of life and widespread suffering on both sides. The Gaza Strip has seen a devastating loss of life, including many children, while Israel has also reported casualties. Additionally, the war has exacerbated an already dire humanitarian situation in the region, leading to shortages of vital resources such as food, water, and medicine. Critics argue that a more balanced and constructive approach is needed to address the situation and work toward a peaceful resolution. They emphasize the importance of engaging with all relevant parties to de-escalate tensions and pave the way for a sustainable peace agreement. As the situation continues to evolve, it remains an intensely contentious and sensitive issue, demanding a comprehensive and nuanced perspective to foster lasting peace and address the grievances of the affected populations. It is crucial for leaders to consider the human toll of this war and work diligently to prevent further suffering. Amidst the ongoing evolution of this highly contentious and sensitive issue, U.S. President Joe Biden's recent statement regarding the Gaza conflict continues to provoke controversy. While Biden emphasized the potential folly of Israel reoccupying Gaza, he expressed support for Israeli actions against Hamas. However, his comments have faced criticism from various quarters, with many arguing that they fail to address the complexities of the situation fully. The ongoing regional war and escalating tensions make it evident that a more nuanced and comprehensive approach is needed to address the deep-rooted issues and work towards a sustainable peace agreement. Critics assert that Biden's statement may not significantly contribute to long-term peace and stability, particularly given the gravity of the situation. They view such statements as coming too late and as inadequate attempts to address the injustices and suffering in the region, as many of the weapons used in the conflict are sponsored by America and Europe. Furthermore, there is mounting displeasure with how certain leaders embroiled in the conflict are being portrayed in the media, especially in the face of the innocent lives lost, notably those of Palestinian children. Some argue that the media should take a stance by boycotting governments that appear to side with the aggressors thus sending a clear message that the public cannot be swayed by diplomatic maneuvers. In this context, some are pressing for greater accountability and questioning whether words alone can bring solace to the families of the more than 724 children who have tragically lost their lives in this war. It remains a deeply sensitive and challenging issue, demanding a more profound and nuanced perspective to work towards a lasting and just peace.